Well, it's been almost two weeks since Granger High dismissed classes and shifted to online instruction for 3,300 of its students. And while the building may be empty, there's still a whole lot of learning going on, and that is thanks to in large part to the 150 dedicated teachers here at Granger High. Uh, we had a chance to speak to administrators, and they do admit it is a little eerie walking the empty halls right now, but out of an abundance of caution and following health guidelines, they felt that it was the right decision. It has certainly been an adjustment for teachers, you know, getting their contingency plans in place within 24 hours and then making sure that there isn't a gap in students' learning. They have come up with some creative ways via technology to keep students engaged. I learned a Loom program and Screencastify and I have a, set up a YouTube channel to help engage with my students through video. I wor I've worked harder in distance learning than I did when I was in the building because in the building I can just say what I want and now I have to type it up and make a video and edit the video and it's just it's a lot more work. Now teachers admit there are challenges. It's stressful because they miss their students and they can't fulfill all their learning needs. Internet connectivity brings up a lot of issues. It can be really frustrating when things just aren't working right. And teachers spend a lot of hours putting these lesson plans together. Now before the two week dismissal, about 30% of students were already doing distance learning and administrators say that it is always an option for parents. Students are expected to be back here at Granger High on Thursday. In West Valley City, Tamara Vifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.